working on a vertical cable cowl on the Corona CH1800. This is what I have for needle setups. I'm on 40 left to 40 right. I'm doing two end stitches on each end. First loops for the cables will be eight, 10 needle space, eight cable, eight space, eight cable, eight space, eight cable, eight space, 10 space, eight cable, and two end stitches. I'm gonna be doing 30 rows, just as I did on the other one. And I'm going from three rows between, which I was doing down here, to five rows between to see how that will look. And this setup is the same as before. We're gonna put all needles into hold that we are not using at the time. Make sure our machine is set up for hold. We will do the first eight stitches. Pull those two out of work. Usually after about 10 rows, you're getting a lot of that surplus in the way. I'm just using a small S hook with a weight on it to grab that loop so that it'll stay out of the way. And then we'll put all over to our next cable into work, slide across, bring back out of work the original first cable, the space needles, and then we'll start the same thing over on this set of eight. About 10 rows. Oops, totally dropped the weight on the floor there. We'll get the S hook on. We'll tighten the weight up. <laughs> Hook it on our S hook. Sure we will. And then finish the next one. Once again at row 31, we're gonna push back the space ones and then our next set of eight, move across bring out of work the ones that we just did plus the spacers in between and once again for so I will keep doing this and come back and show you what it looks like when I have the length that I need to be a cowl and then I will braid it up Well, here it is off the machine. You can easily see the difference between the three row sections and the five row sections or how far apart the loops are. I'm going to try and get in close enough to make this easier to see when I braid because I know last time it was difficult to see. I will pick and end one, twist it, pull through a loop, grab the next loop, pull it through, grab the next loop, pull it through. You can do it straight as these are, or you can twist the loop as you pull it through. Pull it through, twist it, pull it through, twist it, changes the look of the loop. I'm gonna go and grab a lighter section so that it's a little bit easier to see it. Go over in the center. So just pull it through. Pull it through. Pull it through. You can turn them as you go up. You can do them straight as you go up. 
that is totally dependent on the look that you want it to be. What I'll do is I will then show you various ways that this particular item, when I started to braid it, gave me ideas for how it could look. And I'll be right back with that. Straight off the machine. Not braided yet. But it certainly has an interesting texture to it all alone that you could easily use this just as the cowl or braid some leave some loops braid some leave some loops so i will test that out see how it looks and come back and show you here it is showing you with just the top layer braided and we'll keep testing to see what looks best. And here we are with three rows cabled. Obviously, the more I cable, the taller the cowl will stand. I haven't yet decided, do I braid them all? Leave some loops, make it so it can hook in the front, or make it longer. And here it is with four of the cables created leaving the bottom ones as loops as well looks like this could be done multiple of ways and this is with all cabled and i'm not really sure if i like the bottom one flipped up or flipped down to create this nice trim around the edging and now I just realized that I could also do it with an opening and not necessarily a full cowl, but maybe just a shoulder wrap. And now I'm going to have to go through the various types of doing the braids or not doing the braids to see how it looks this way too. And here you can see that you could even do side by side rows to make this really cool looking cable here is just taking one from each edge pulling it up into it as you work across just taking one from each side which makes a really nice chunky braid look you can easily go across what you knitted going straight over either straight up or not even crossing them when you hit the end you can turn and go back down the other side the possibilities are quite endless now that we have these loops to turn them into whatever type of design effect you may want to have on your knitted piece. So I hope you have fun and you try some loops. Have a great day.